Alright, welcome to Yellow Cab News. I'm your host. Listen, I cannot, I cannot begin this whole thing. I have a small bump. Even though it's my fault, I, I didn't realize I took my foot off the gas, off the gas pedal, and I put it on park. So I slowly bumped into his car. But I'm gonna make this small bump in the car into a, into a religious ethnic uh, dialogue of some sorts. You know, <clears throat> I cannot begin this introduction. You know, it's weird how some people call themselves religious, call themselves prosecuted, call themselves fleeing their country because they're supposed to be good people and the people who's hurting them is bad. But you know what? Slowly but surely, the more people come to this country on so-called religious grounds and prosecution persecution or persecution grounds I'm coming up to find out more and more that they're the bad guys and the people who do them out the country are the good guys or, or, or just not that or just not that bad as they are listen I bumped this car okay but I bumped the car on slow mo like two miles an hour at, the, at best and you coming out angry but then I'm but then you're a sheik an Indian sheik who flee in this country on religious ground, and the way you reacted to a small minor bump, it makes me think that I'm wonder who's being persecuted, the people who threw you out or you, and your people. So without further ado, just watch this reaction. It's not pretty, it's not simple, and and I guess it's uh, kind of like, uh, I started it as my fault, I should pay more attention, but uh, I guess I did. Sorry. You know. Sorry. And you know what this one has to do with? I know this I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention, but I made a mistake. It's hard to argue with, you know, so but this is what he got mad. And he gonna come he, he's coming back out, bro. That's the key to this whole thing. It's not that cut and dry, it's not that simple. He's coming back out. And I I wanna know what is the turban symbolizes if you're if you're coming out that angry and that bitter. Some type of distinction of better class, better race, better ethnicity, better religion. Now he's coming out again. What's coming out for now? Now you hit my car. He thinks he now what he was saying? Hold on one second. He first of all he hit my car as you can see. For what? You're religious, bro. You're an old man. Act like you're religious you're you're older man and you acting like a like a, almost like a semi savage? Oh, a small bump that created no damage. Who are you really? Who are you really? Who? Who are you really? To come out like that? Hit my car. What, what is it for? Coming back out. Coming back. Coming back out again to hit my car. And to, to say what? There's no damage. But you can see. It's a slight bump. Okay? A slight bump. There was no crash. No... 50 mile hour almost hit you and, 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 and skinned your car. It's a small bump, a two mile to three mile an hour bump. Look at the distance. Are you coming out like that? Are you supposed to be what? A religious Indian sheik? Just say what? I didn't know religious people act like that. This is why some people don't believe in religion. That's why I think your religion may be a fanatic. It might not be a religion at all. Because a lot of white people came from Europe on the same grounds you came. And look at that, look how right wing extremists they are. And racist. And I think this is I think this is what this whole thing is about. It's about race. It's about class. That Indian class race light skin stuff. It's getting it's getting annoying. It's getting on my damn nerves. Okay, now he's telling me now he's about to um, yeah, I'm covering my face. I don't want to see too much who I am. I don't want to get too to you too famous but yeah that's me over here uh yeah so he told me a story about having to at jfk lot i mean i had the local audio a lot one one time before uh tell me what happened i don't know what's that got to do with peaches and oranges and and the price of buffalo in, on the stock market but uh yeah i don't know why he, he explained that to me he told me what happened at the local audio one time Bro, what's that gotta do with peaches in, in Oregon? Like, I don't get your point. Oops. Um, I'm 
sorry, I think I froze it. So what does that got to do with peaches in Oregon? What does it got to do with cats roaming around in Romania and Eastern Europe? I don't get your point. But anyway, this I think this is more about class and sometimes a little makes him a little racism and his and his religion, his persecuted religion. And then uh, and before I even came to this position, he was telling me where to go and what to do and don't you see my lights? I don't see my lights blinking. Like, bro, what is your point? I mean, what is your point? You think you think you're so superior? One thing about I think about some Indians come from India, they think they're very superior above dark skinned people. Place was coming in today, by the way, if they want to know. It was kind of a good day at JFK, but I couldn't capitalize on it because my car broke down. Not on this trip, but on another trip after this to, to the city, and my car broke down. And now, guess why I didn't get paid? There's another, another fine example of a garage not paying you because your car broke down and they don't want to. So I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying they should compensate me the whole money, the whole cap, the whole eighty-five dollars. But they should give me something because their car broke down. I lost my money, not in the fact that I they didn't get they, the people didn't pay me because I couldn't take them to their destination in a timely fashion. I couldn't take them to their destination at all. Uh, you know, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. No, because their car broke down and it made me lose money. And on top of that. I had to take time out to get to wait for the tow, get towed, and change cars. That's a three-hour ordeal and three hours of missing money inside the city once I got there. Because I was like maybe a mile away from their destination, and the car literally just shut down. As you can see, more planes are coming. It was a, it would have been a great day for me at JFK, but between this idiot making my day and making me mad, want to punch him in the face, and, and 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 my car breaking down, and me taking time to get towed and change cars. It was a very, a very bad day. Now I'm a little paranoid too because I want to know if this guy right here in the red was talking to him about me, because uh, uh, because I'm trying to explain to him what happened. He would just smile and laugh at But you know, I guess honestly, he doesn't have any real obligation to side with me or not. But it was just, you know, just having a bad day. This was the start of it, kind of. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say something else. I forgot. Oh yeah. Well, now I usually I'm trying. I'm only gonna do like really com compilation videos. But like I said, sometimes I'll break away from that and just do these singular videos because they have some type of more of a significance than than the, than the comp compilation videos. But I just want to show you in this video what happened August twenty, uh, August thirtieth, two thousand and. Uh, 2024 uh, yeah it's got in the red right here 2020 uh, 24 uh, Friday so it has some you know um, I was gonna say yeah so this this is more of an ethnic clash and religious component and I want to emphasize all three in this, uh, in this video so it's a little more complex than a comp compilation video I want to express my views on some of these, some ethnic groups I don't get along with because of their, of their things, they're better than, you know, black people, which is starting to get on my nerves, especially, I've noticed that a lot about driving driving cabs. So, uh, yeah, and I understand it's a, it's a bad day for all t yellow cab drivers. The customers are not out there. Things are not happen the way we would like. I guess financially, we're a little frustrated and emotional, but there's no need to, 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 to be stupid or get out of hand. And some of these guys do cut in line, by the way. Uh, boy. So anyway, listen, thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching my videos. Cash at me, my loss of $85, anybody. Uh, those people I took to the Hilton Garden in on, on West 37th Street and 8th Avenue. All right. I think it's between 8th and 9th Avenue. And yeah, I took you there. You, you could give me some, some, at least half the fare. That's being evil. Because I know when you caught that cab, that fare only cost you like $15. So you saved on nothing. You still got to the city. All right. So anyway, thank you very much. That time was like about 4 o'clock when that happened, the breakdown. Okay, and when they caught the, another cab to Hilton Garden Inn between 8th and 9th on 30, West 37th Street. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cash App, NC, Property Empire. All right. Thank you very much.
uh, just one more thing. He gets out again to confront another driver who thinks he's cutting them. And some of these guys think they're the boss of, uh, of nothing. Anyways, do you see any damage here? All right, so what he's crying about? Seriously, a small bump? My soft spot on my car hit your hard spot on your car. Let's be realistic, all right? Stop crying. I don't know if he's a new driver or, or he's been around for a while, I'm not too sure, but you gotta get a group of reality. Stop being an ass. Alright. Alright, thanks for once again. Thanks for watching. Cash app, you know the deal. Thank you. And I was I was talking to this guy, but he, he I think he's a little bit of love for just don't speak English. And he wants me to hit him so he can have compensation money. Alright, the things you go through driving a yellow cab, boy. It never ends. It never, 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 never ends. Alright, thanks for watching, people. Yeah, I don't know what was the switch. I don't know what was the situation here. I don't know if this guy, I don't know if this guy right here, uh, on the right, I should say, uh, uh, was cutting in, or or this guy right here allowed him to cut. But I'm not too sure. It was a little bit of a disagreement or a little bit of a comfort, a slight. I don't want to call it confrontation, but like uh, a slight. What you call it? A conflict. So, I don't know what was that about. I don't know if he started it or the other guy was in the right. So, I don't know. I don't know. All right, sorry again. I keep interrupting. I just want to show you what's going on and the full scope of this dude right here with me. He made me mad. He made my day, kind of. But the, 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 me being, how you call it, me, my car breaking down really made my day. But he started it in the, in the worst way. All right, so I got over a little bit. Hopefully, maybe not. I don't know. I'll find out later. But thanks for watching again. JFK, JFK hold, JFK airport, taxi hold. All right, thank you very much.